widely acclaimed Titanium PowerBook G4 was designed for professionals. So what about for the rest of us? Well now there's the all new iBook. The new iBook is clearly from the same family as the PowerBook G4, um, but it certainly has its own distinct character. I mean, it, it's warmer, it's happier, I and mean, I think it really is a very friendly design. The original iBook was the first notebook design from the ground up for home and school. It was a huge hit. Now Apple has reinvented the iBook, taken it to a whole new level. With the new iBook, we crossed this really interesting threshold, which was from the portable to the truly mobile. I mean, the design is small enough, it's light enough to take with you anywhere. The great looking screen, the full size keyboard, the CDRW, everything that I can think of wanting in the computer is right here. I think everybody who comes in and sees one of these is gonna want one. I think Apple hit a home run with this. The all-new iBook packs an incredible amount of power into a small package. It's a 500 MHz G3 processor, over five hours of battery life, and it fits beautifully into a 4.9 pound design. That's two pounds less than before. When the iBook's closed, it, it's this smooth, rugged little pod. But as you open it, the geometry of the hinge moves the display away and down, which reveals this full-size keyboard and this large, comfortable palm rest. There's Ethernet, FireWire, two USB, video out, 56K modem, and built-in airport-ready wireless networking. The new iBook comes with a 10 gigabyte hard drive, expandable to 20 gigabytes. And you get your choice of four different optical drives. A CD-ROM, a DVD-ROM so you can watch movies, a CD-read-write so you can burn your own CDs, or customize your iBook with the new DVD-ROM CD-read-write combo drive. The iBook's 12.1-inch TFT display is truly amazing. With 1024 by 768 resolution, we've squished the same number of pixels as a 14-inch notebook into the new iBook. With all these features, all this power, the new iBook will be the center, the hub of your digital life. I'm addicted to iTunes. It's the easiest way to manage a huge collection of MP3s. I have 1,100. And to be able to have them in one application and be able to mix and match them and then burn the CD in my lap is groundbreaking. What I do is I take notes in class and I carry it with me. Later on, I just transport it to my computer. I have a cradle and I just send everything back and forth. It has everything. It has my movies, it has my digital still shots and those. I can do anything I want with them. I mean, I can tweak them. I can put them in Photoshop and add people in there that weren't even there, you know? I got some friends together and we made a really funny movie. We brought it into my computer and we did lots of effects, like made it look like underwater. It actually turned out kind of okay. The really cool thing about the new iBook is you can do this anywhere, in the classroom, at home, on a plane, on vacation. It truly is your digital life to go. Apple has always been a leader in the education market. Today, we're number one in the fastest growing segment, portable computers. Not only that, we're the leader in wireless. The iBook is going to change education in terms of how we teach and learn. It's, it's a tool for collaboration. It's a tool for invention, for exploration. With that, we develop a vibrant learning community when everyone is a learner and everyone is a teacher. Basically, we are turning them on to learning. They're finding out that learning is fun. See? I can't get them out to recess at the end of the day. They just want to stay in class and stay with the iBooks and work all day long. I'm typing up a story, and now we have to do our call for writing in it. My third graders are writing at levels way above what you would normally expect for third graders. They're writing at a fourth and fifth grade level. It is phenomenal. The new iBook is fast fun, lightweight, wireless. Kids are going to love it. And I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face, but actions speak louder than words. And today we bought 23,000 of the iBooks. Mark my words, we're going to take all these beautiful iBooks, put them in the hands of 
teachers and students and change the world. We're going to rock the classroom. <laughs>